In this video, we explore the GABA A receptor. It's an important protein complex to receive inhibitory signals from other neurons. This receptor can be found in the membranes of the postsynaptic neuron. The inhibition works by changing the membrane potential. The membrane potential is given by the difference of the ion concentration between the extracellular space and the cytoplasmic side. You can see the ion concentrations here. The concentration of each ion varies depending on the location. The chloride ions are relevant for the GABA-A receptor. Their concentration is higher in the extracellular space. The number of green ions floating around here is about accurate. The cube marks an area of 10 by 10 by 10 nanometers. That volume of extracellular space would be expected to hold about 70 chloride ions. Let's focus back on the GABA-A receptor. This receptor consists of five subunits, two alpha, two beta, and one gamma subunit. This is the most common form, but other subunit configurations are available. When the presynaptic neuron floods the synaptic cleft with GABA, then GABA can bind to the receptor. It changes the conformation slightly, thereby allowing chloride ions to rush into the cell. The opening of the channel is short-lived. The excess GABA is taken up by GABA transporters located on the surrounding cells within milliseconds. The GABA that is associated with the receptor can also leave the binding pocket again. Thus, the channel closes, ready for the next signal.